This will either go horribly wrong or perfectly fine. Hey, gotta love the power of video. Oh my god, this will be a constant wiping. But well, I'm already a pro when it gets to that. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday, another day, another chance to push hard. The topic for this one is a bit of home improvement, so let's uh, get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. Now check this out. That's the kitchen progress. I think it's a bit more organized than last time. <laughs> it's still not there yet. There's a new position for this stuff. Previously it was in there. Horrible. And before we get to the main topic, building a little shelf for the bathroom. Let's check this out. First of all, I got myself a new door lock with a knob on there, as you can see. And this is essential for that home automation. I want to automate the back side of the door, well, the inside basically. 3D print something for this gear thingy. Well, for this knob, well, this will be sick. Driving it with a stepper and ideally activating it with an RFID something something. Probably an NFC ring, that would be amazing from the outside. Unlocks the door, I can just, you know, enter the flat. No more freaking key fiddling around. And other than that, I got myself a magnetic knife bar. Check this out. What is it doing? This is hella amazing. So that will be the first thing to do. I think right here would be an optimal position for this thing. One thing that's pretty horrible are the spots. It's not advised to touch this with your hands whatsoever. I just clean it thoroughly, but as you can see here, I hope you're able to see this, like the spots are disgusting. So let's clean this again and then here we have this extra strong duct tape again. I'm definitely not going to drill some holes into the wall. Let's get the light going. Let's get it. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's a strong magnet. Let's wipe this side. Let's get that duct tape. Just like that. Easy money. Let's go. Now there is this plastic strip in there to, oh my god, to lift it up. And I already hurt myself pretty badly <laughs> when I took this thing. It's a strong magnet and I, it kind of pinched my fingers. But it's just what I deserve for my stupidity. Okay, now gotta clean off them edges. Hopefully without destroying the knife, I could just resharpen it, who cares. is going on over there oh my god okay one last time ah, rip knife now comes the difficult part where exactly to place it probably right there I guess probably it's like the only position that makes sense yeah I think I think I will go for this place. No laser this time, I will just orient myself on the wall. Let's go! Oh god. Yo, just like that, just like that. Ah, oh, god damn it, I'm so stupid. I centered it like that, but that's not the middle. Oh no! <laughs> I'm hella stupid. It's actually coming off. Oh my god, heck yeah. Oh, okay, that's more like it. Stay! Well, who cares? Carefully. <laughs> this is so good. Let's wipe the spots. Okay, looks clean to me. Hey! I love it. That was my first knife, as you can see. DIY sharpening going on. Let's add it to his brother. Oh hell yeah. I love it. I freaking love it. As you can see, it's not like super, super strong, but it's definitely not coming off. It's definitely staying in place. There's another object. 
This is actually perfect. I freaking love it. Next up, let's try this thing. So uh, that's the thing right there. Let's exchange it. Hey, gotta love the power of video. So check this out. It's looking even better because this side is a bit shorter. To be exact, this is five millimeters shorter and well, it's freaking amazing. I just need something to turn it. Just like that. Imagine that. I'm so looking forward to that. And now let's get to the main topic for this vlog. I want to build a shelf down here. Basically one plate of wood and then two other plates of wood in the corners and then another one on top. My goal is just to lay it on these tiles right here. That would be amazing. So let's measure it and I will see you in a bit in the workshop. It is workshop time, my god damn it. I just clean up everything while it's not clean any longer because when I came home, check this out, today I got my first set of soap dispensers and I already tested the saw, well the saw blade for the wood, I already tested it on metal. And well, I came up with, well I made this back plate, on the back I already put the extra strong duct tape. I did this because there are only two small strips that contact the wall and I don't think that the duct tape will hold the weight. So yeah, larger surface area. We will get to that as well. So much freaking progress today. And well, check this out. That's the plan. Focus, thanks for the bathroom. Check this out, got myself a plate of oak. Quite expensive, I paid around eight bucks for that. Better not mess it up. So it's this little corner right there and there's the other side. Yeah, so almost 90 centimeters. 10 centimeters long, well a bit less because I will just cut it right there in the middle. It's 20 mil, well 200 actually, 20 centimeters. And by the way, this saw is a freaking beast. Clamped up and ready to go. Check this out. So freaking sick, oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, the edge is so clean. Okay, now I better should concentrate on what I'm actually doing. You can get freaking amazing results with this saw. By the way, check out the review and the unboxing if you missed that. Exactly the same height, exactly the same length. It is freaking perfect, it is amazing. But now comes the difficult part. I need to cut this all the way. God damn it, oh no. Yeah, as you can see, I just did the other side and yeah, there is a good piece missing. I can't do it with this one, so who knew that this thing would come in handy one day? This thing is so freaking dangerous. The guide rail won't fit on there. It's too small. So this will be the make or break moment. This will either go horribly wrong or perfectly fine. So let's get it. <laughs> Easy as that. Oh yeah. So these sections right here are as expected pretty perfect, but well this middle section right there, uh, not so much. Yeah, but it's not uh, that bad as you can see. Oh well, there we go. I couldn't help it. I had to sand it down a bit. That's good enough. Definitely good enough. So this needs to go. It's not a lot. So yeah, let's do this. I will see you in a bit. So there we go. Wasn't too bad either. Well, and now Let's try it out. <laughs> oh my god. Let's hope that it will fit. So, here we go. What do you think? Will it fit first try or not? Leave a comment below. <laughs> Just like that. And, oh my god. Check this out. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh my god. This is per This is actually perfect. Oh my god. Hell yeah. It's so freaking easy. Let's get these pieces going. Just like that. And I thought about using duct tape again, but I think it might actually be enough to just put them there. And yeah, that's it. And lastly, second floor. Oh sh. All the way. 
yeah, there we go. Oh hell yeah! Check this out, it's pretty freaking sturdy. Of course there is a little wiggle going on, but it's definitely not too bad. This is actually... <laughs> <laughs> this actually turned out way better than expected. Yo, this is looking amazing. And well, the purpose is of course to store toilet paper. Oh my god, there is so much room. <laughs> this is amazing, check this out. Yo, this is so sweet, yo. Okay, this one is actually... The... There we go, looking better. Just turn it around. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god. Well, just ignore that. I will get to that one day. Just let this sink in. This is amazing. I freaking love oak. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> and last, but definitely not least, let's get to them soap dispensers. I was fairly active. This thing is amazing. This backplate, wooden backplate, is looking pretty good in my opinion. Again, oak is just amazing. And I think I will put it just there. Right freaking there. There we go. So, as you can see, I put it to the right on this tile so that it's almost centered. And now I just, let's just hope that I'm still able to insert them. Hey, no problem whatsoever. Okay, let me fill them up, wipe them clean. Oh my God, this is gonna be sweet. Check this out, this is so sweet. <laughs> It is so glossy, so it is a, like, it attracts fingerprints. Oh my god, this will be a constant wiping. But well, I'm already a pro when it gets to that. So shiny. <laughs> the green stuff is for the dishes, this white stuff is for my hands. And well, another thing that's lifted up, I will just use, well, the rest of that. And then this will be gone. The next thing that I want to lift up is this towel thingy. And well, they throw a bit of a shade but it's not too bad i want to hmm somewhere up there maybe i don't know and i also want to automate this with a little button no actually with some sort of a sensor when i get close proximity sensor maybe this ultrasonic stuff when i get close it will drop one sheet oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to do this. This is looking so sweet. Well, if you <laughs> if you ignore the freaking ugly tiles on this, I, oh my god, it's simply ridiculous. But well, I do what I can. And yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button away. I smashed so many things today. Bang the bell like crap so that you never miss updates on flat stuff and DIY builds. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.